Hey people, Indrid here, 3v3, Ulthane Temple, Blue Team, tis a bunch of Tyranids. We have Mustafa as a Licta Alpha, a melee specialist getting full train disrupt, some powerful offense, and a bit of support. Alongside, Jiraiju Akara as a Hive Tyrant, a durable hero walking through objects cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and support fighting in melee by default with a basic synapse. And rounding off the team, Vengetron as a Ravenna Alpha, a tunneling hero, great to mobility, powerful offense, and a bit of support begins with a ranged weapon. Looks like that first tunnel has gone on the eastern edge. Red team. FXL is a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control Night Lords elite scheme alongside them. Rutank as a Force Commander, very strong offense fighting in melee. He's a versatile Force Commander, Fedado can tank, disrupt and support. And rounding off the teams, Helios 86 as a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee begins where a refractor shield can execute his own soldiers to make him fight better. This is the Mordian Iron Guard elite scheme. Contested power turning red. There's another contested power over here which is also red and noded. Sorcerer backs off. So does the Hive Tyrant I shall call you. Bautista I think. Heading back in. Hormagaunts of Vengetron here too. Double Hormagaunts for both Jiraiju Akara and Vengetron. A lot of melee to deal with, and we got Adrenal Glands in on these fellas. Force Commander does the battle cry thing, which is buffing a lot of stuff here actually. Getting quite good value out of that. Lord Commissar being focused down, needs to throw the shield up. There it is. They are going to be forced off. Maybe Bautista the Hive Tyrant should have gone into the back lines there and tied, tied up the Marines maybe. Lord Commissar does get away. And the red team took very little damage elsewhere, actually. A little bit on the Sentinel, which now gets repaired. I'm not sure where the Ravenna Alpha was. Oh, they're already back at base. Meanwhile, Doom Bolts and the Lictor Alpha probably going to have to run pretty soon. Gets knocked around. Some crypting poison on the Heretics. Yeah, Heretics have to run. Probably not worth those Termigan Broods hanging around. Red team take mid-map authority early. It's a very haphazard approach from the Tyranids in general, I think. Tried to focus down that Lord Commerce side, really didn't work out. In the end, he just soaked up a whole bunch of damage. And the rest of the army was largely untouched. Akara with a Warrior Brood. It is very tempting and often the right call to focus down an enemy hero, though. But with the, um, the shield he could throw up. Took a hell of a lot to get rid of him. And maybe the Hive Tyrant, as I said, would have been better off tying things up in melee. Just have everything else thrown on the Lord Commissar, maybe. Trying to destroy the cover that they built. Hormagaunt Brood here for Vengetron. Doing some scouting. They see two gems go up. Sentinel is chasing him. Look how hilariously inaccurate it is. Can it kill more than one. I think it killed one there. Did it kill another one already? I mean, they're, they are down two models, down three models. Is Vengetron paying attention to these Hormagaunt fellas? I can't select the others. They must be in a tunnel. I guess they were trying to get a decap under fire there. It didn't quite work out. More Lazguns showed up. Here's a Ravenna Brood. And towards the west of the map, is kicking off. Force Commander with some battle cries, but gets taken care of. Lick to Alpha goes down. Heretics with just the aspiring champion get away. Sorcerer lives. And we have Bioplasma on the Hive Tyrant. And improved synapse, which makes a lot of sense. Not only is it triple Tyranids, but they are actually in the center here. Great place for a Hive Tyrant player to be. Can do some good support stuff. There's Catalyst from the Ravenna Alpha, doubling those Stormagaunt's damage, but they drain health. Couldn't quite make it work there, though. Lord Commissar runs. I don't think they can stop this approach, especially when the Devastators aren't set up. They're trying to. Heavy Weapon Squad is. Now there's two of them firing. Warrior Brood with the leap, though, get in there. And now I think maybe they're too close. Yeah, they're too. Off to the side and close for these guys to shoot at them. Sentinel. Must have stomped already. 
Warrior Brood doing some great work there. Ravenous Brood striking in too. Now the Devastators can set up, but they can get around that. It's a wide open area. 4-2-3 to 4-3-3. Three, three. There's a stomp. Coming off cooldown, I guess. Warrior Brood now run. What is this? Some very sneaky scouts slipping through and trying to get a decap. And they don't have shotguns, so they need to run away from the Hormagaunts immediately. And they get a decap and they do run. Well played, Rutank. Devastators didn't actually drop a model there. I think it was way... Yeah, it would have been worth the Warrior Brood just chasing them. But I suppose they didn't know the Ravener Brood was coming in. There's another Ravener Brood up for Vengetron. Must be in a tunnel. There they are. Sometimes there's a visual glitch in the replays where a unit will appear to be standing around when they are in fact in a tunnel. FXL with those Chaos Space Marines. Eternal War and double grenade launcher heretics here. Bad news for Termigants. Oh boy. Bioplast was pretty bad news for them though. That was an awesome shot. Almost wiped that heretic squad. 388 eight to 433. Three. Bautista the Hive Tyrant then runs away. Red team I think are going to get mid-map again. They haven't made an attempt at the power yet though, have they? And look at this, they've built up that central power though with two gens. Trying to steal this one. Is that the Sword of Flame? It is. The flames are the clue. Also have vestments of the warp. Force Commander has a meeting with the Sorcerer. Takes over the cap. Sorcerer can now push the western side. Trying to get onto this power. That's a lot of Tyranids though. Doom Bolt's in there. That must have been so much damage added up. Force Commander joins in. Doesn't want to miss a fight against some foul Xenos. There's Coruscant in Flame. Oh, puts it on the Force Commander. That means he'll damage nearby enemies now with some warp fire. Quite a lot of heresy going on. And they can kill those Termigants, I think. Devastator's getting too close, having to leave. So are the Tactical Marines. Root Tank with a Dreadnought on the way. FXL. Oh, they lost their CSM. Right here, look. In that big push while I was focusing on the Force Commander. Raven Alpha with Hardened Carapace and Burrow and gets more health. Oh, and energy and energy regen. Not bad, eh? In the southeast, red team have pushed through onto the power. Spore mines here should be going in and detonating, but they are just hanging out from Vengetron. Mustafa with a Venom Brood on the way. It's 2 to 1 cap for the Tyranids, but they have a VP deficit. Heavy Weapon Squad having to flee. Raven is making a big difference against those setup teams as, ex as expected. And they're stealing this central power. And Tyran is through onto the northwestern natural power of the red team. Sorcerer teleports in. Coruscant and Flame on himself and does a special attack. And then some bolt pistol action. There's the Dreadnought of Rutank. Starts off as a melee walker. Doing huge melee DPS with a splash damage on hit. Wrist mounted flamer as well on the eastern edge. Tyranid still stealing the power. This is Helios backing off here. How did they do on the power bash? Not sure exactly. Borrow strike on the Devastators. Maybe a librarian now for Rude Tank A. Eh? Would really help out the um, Devastator squad. Oh, if they survive. Oh, they did not survive. Why did I say that? Sentinel trying to get away. Not going to happen. Goes down. So, big losses for the red team. Venom Brood getting a bunch of damage in on the Dreadnought. It may be worth the Force Commander getting the Teleporter Pack. So he could get in there and tie those guys up very quickly. Basically guaranteed to tie them up at least for a few seconds. Depends whether the Force Commander then gets focused down. More Chaos Space Marines for FXL. West side turning red thanks to some heretics. Who's this down? Vengetron's Ravana Alpha down here. Oh, Lictor Alpha's down as well. Looks like Akara is going for the revive. 357, 295. Lots of damage in from the Dreadnought. Not sure what the Ravenas are trying to do fighting him. Warrior Brood with heavy melee weapons trying to get in there. And down goes the Dreadnought. Venom Brood's able to finish it off. They didn't get to do that much. Rude Tank down to a single squad. In fact, goes Tier 3. Red Team all making a big risk trying to get Tier 3 going. 
going to just skip their tier 2s mostly. Lictor Alpha has Lone Hunter and Toxic Cysts and some Scything Talons. He's ready to go. Still level 1 though. They're going to struggle to hold mid-map since they're kind of skipping tier 2 here. I suppose getting a Dreadnought isn't really skipping tier 2, but they're not getting anything else. Barrage from the grenades, but they can't knock down the Hive Tyrant, of course. He's a big boy. Coruscant Flame on the Sorcerer, but they can't stay in there too long. Having to flee. Level 5 Hive Tyrant. Done some work, this fella. Crushing Claws on the way now, too. Blue team need to be really aggressive. They, of course, don't know necessarily that the, that the red team have all gone tier 3 and may be lacking units coming out for a while. But if they're super aggressive here, they could gobble up the mid powers, do some power bashing on the naturals. Lord Commissar, is that aura of discipline? It is. Also, Carapace Armor to boost the Lord Commissar when he uses Inspire Courage and a Power Sword. Always a great shout. Kills a Venom Brood. But those crushing claws are really painful. And it will be more than 180 DPS because the Hive Tyrant's level 5. Gene Stiller Brood from Vengatron. Triple Gene Stillers. Double Ravener's triple Gene Stillers. Still has Spore Mines as well. Very odd. Have Weapon Squad. A futile attempt to... Repel the Hive Tyrant there, didn't get suppressed and wasn't too bothered about the damage, it turns out. Now they can bash power. The yeah, the map is swarming blue now. Rutank gets a Terminator Force Commander. And that's quite a lot of power, isn't it? Was that really the best purchase? Oh, that's a really good Dark Flame, bloody hell. Very, very good Dark Flames. Almost wiped. What is in there? Oh, it's another Termigant Brood in there that almost got wiped. Lick to Alpha, getting the big buffs from Lone Hunter. I love that they made this effect way more visible now. Very obvious orangey circle below him. Plasma Devs called out by Akara. Here from Rutank. Crunch. Lightning Claw Assault Terminators. This would be pretty awesome. And I think... What did they just purchase there? I'll oh, just purchase Heavy Flame. I'll oh, cancel it. Goes for Lightning Claws. Yeah, if they didn't get that Terminator armor for the Force Commander, I think they could have, could have had Terminators up by now, I think. Oh, maybe not. They don't quite have the red for it. Lightning Claws on the Force Commander should be good, but it's only one fella. It's a lot to take on. Well, here he goes. There is also a tank from FXL. That's going to help out. A, is it a Nurgle tank? No, that's just the um, Toxic Cysts with a Toxic Burst. Victor Alpha now has Lone Hunter. But uh, yeah, doesn't want to fight the Lightning Claws Terminator Force Commander here. Can the red team bounce back? Helios with a Stormlord on the way. That's going to be super effective because the entire blue side is infantry. And the Stormlord gobbles them up. They've hit back quite well. They've got the west side back here. Well done, FXL. Sorcerer levels to three. Some more grenade barragings. Oh, we do have some death spitters from Mustafa. Death spitters are inferno PvP damage, yeah. Pretty nice. Very good against heavy and super heavy infantry. Which there will be a fair amount of on the red team. Can't effects on the way now for Mustafa. And there's the tier 3 for Vendatron. Still has double Ravener's triple gene stealers. Very cool. What is this? Corrosive Devourer and Synapse Aura for damage. Do you guys have the melee upgrade? Oh, I can't select them. They must be in a tunnel. No sign of a Warrior Brood with melee Synapse though, right? Oh, I guess Akara has one and it will benefit allied Tyranids. Meanwhile, through the mid. Lord Commissar getting stuck in using lead by example. Everyone's basically leaving the Hive Tyrant alone in melee at the moment, understandably. Bautista almost level 6. 333 to 125. Tank doesn't want to get Venom Brood hits. Or Venom Cannon hits, I guess. Lick to Alpha with a flesh hook. 
Lone Hunter is up. Look at the damage to that sorcerer. Has to teleport away for his life. There you can see that synapse aura. Those purple marks, those purple synapse marks on all those Dean Steelers there. That is scary. Stormlord is up. Can it make a big difference? There it is. 100 DPS Inferno PvP damage out of that single... Well, I guess it's like double Vulcan Mega Bolter. That doesn't count the Laz Cannons and the other Heavy Bolters as well. What do you focus down here? I think you should focus down that Hive Turret. He's a scary fella. Runs away. Tank has done well for FXL. What is Rude Tank up to though? They have to get something else on the field. What are they waiting for? A Land Red Redeemer maybe. 3-2-2 to 110. Helios admonishing FXL for rotating mid when they should be holding their western lane according to them. Well I mean they have lost it. 3-2-2 to 103. Formagaunt's flee. Little poke there from the sorcerer. Can now retake the west side without issue. Unless they get flesh hooked, I guess. Level 2 Lictor Alpha. Tank is here though. Plasma attacks get the cap on this power. Still no purchase from Rue Tank. There we go. Terminator's coming in. <coughs> And it's regular Terminators, not Assault Terminators. We do have the Carnifex. So maybe they want the Cyclone Missile Launcher going on. Got the decap, but they couldn't grab the VP there. Oh, it's a Venom Cannon. Huge damage to the tank. Huge, huge damage on rear armor. Venom Brood there as well. Bioplasma. Couldn't quite hit it. Kicking off in the mid, I think. It's a lot of Gene Stealers. Oh, and they have the Heavy Melee Upgrade too. They have the Rending Claws. They're going to tear apart the Storm Lord if we can get to it. Plasma Cannon. Oh, no, it moves. I thought it was going to get a big shot and save the Storm Lord there. Lord Commissar, do you want to do some fighting? There's the non shelled Fall from the Fist of Brockus. Storm Lord survives. Terminators are they've gone for an Assault Cannon. Lots of single target piercing DPS and inspiration on kill, of course. Look at the damage to the Hive Tyrant. Plasma can and gets a really good shot and down goes a bunch of stuff. That was Synapse Backlash from Bautista going down. 3-2-2 to 90. Can the red team get their engine going here? We've got some Chaos Terminators. Lightning Claws is what they're going for. Massive threat to all infantry with the Lightning Claws. Former Gaunt's back on the VP. Sorcerer comes to say hello. Down to almost half hit points though. Straight on the VP. Carnifex comes into melee because the Venom Cannon will struggle to hit the Sorcerer. Able to teleport out, but they got the cap before the Sorcerer could come and harass them. 2-1 to one for blue. Another Carnifex here from Mostafa. No upgrades on this guy. And Akara has one with a Venom Cannon as well. Lightning Claw Terminators with power weapons can't do a huge amount against this Carnifex. FXL needs anti-vehicle and they go for some Plague Marines. Tiny fixes have vehicle armor, if you're wondering. Red team getting through onto blue team's natural victory point, I see on the minimap. And here's a flank from the Lord Commissar, which does have a power fist. Still no upgrade for this Carnifex. fix. Terminator took a lot of damage there, but they're getting the cap. Single now for red. Able to get a decap on blue team's natural. Demon Russ on the way for Helios. Might be looking for Vanquisher to take on the Carnifexes, but it must be tempting to get Executioner against all this melee infantry here. Plasma Cannon gets a decent shot and runs away. Terminator is backing off. They can't retreat, of course. There's a Heavy Bolter. And they can turn and try and rip through some of the Genesis. It's probably better to try and target the Warrior Brood, though. Force Commander gets in. Not sure what he's trying to chase, but he's being slowed down. Now now turns to engage, but needs to run soon. Team still is in on the heavy weapon squad. Terminator trying to leave. Force Commander might need to teleport out. If he can. Maybe they he already used it. Trying to run. It's very close. There's the Lehman Russ. Down goes the Terminator. Force Commander should get revived from there. And they wipe out the Gene Stealer Brood. There's a Trino Formation though. 
284 to 61. Red side, sorry, red team is still having the west side lockdown at the moment. Looks like there's some, some brouhaha going on though, what's it? It's the two Khan effects and stuff. Plague Marines getting shots, is that a thorn back then? Oh, it's gonna be a thorn back. Plague Marines getting tied up so they can't fire that missile launcher and Hormagaunts will rip apart Oh, they don't care. There we go. I thought they were going straight for the VP. They will rip apart the heretics there in melee because they have their grenade launchers. 265 to 61. Fex 2 on the way, says Jiraiju Akara. Oh, did they lose their... Oh, they lost their Plague Marines. That was really sloppy from FXL. Just let their Plague Marines die in melee to a Carnifex there. And the Terminators are getting very low. I think they're going to capitulate on this side. Oh, they're able to teleport. But now it's just double heretics, and that's a doom. A doom bolts. That's a bioplasma. Still pressure on red team's natural as well. There is a tank here bouncing around. But not for long. Yeah, I, I just wouldn't get tanks up, to be honest. Venom cannon carn effects and venom broods. Storm Lord doing some work there. Can he get on the venom brood and get some shots? taking a bunch of shots. You can reinforce off this thing as well as infantry. Ouch. That was off-map artillery. Is it worth getting a las cannon on that heavy weapon squad back there? Force Commander doing some chopping. That's a basilisk flare. That zone throws around with symbiosis, is it? I can select the buddy thing. Oh, Symbiosis on the way. So I can heal those Khan effects. 228 to 58. Blue team do indeed have the west side. Lots of inspirations from the Terminator kills. Raven Alpha. Only level 2, this guy. Doing a lot of damage, though. And they're just standing in the Strangle Thorn Cannon's fire. Terminator Force Commander. Stand in his ground. Can he get away though? Two to one for blue again. And it might be, it might be tricky for red team to get the west side back. FXL has so much resources that they're not spending here. Not sure what they want. Neiman Russ can't stand for long. There's a Tyranno formation. Looks like the Tyranid team have this locked in now, I think. Another tank on the way for Rue Tank. They have not done well so far. All these tanks. Also, Land Raider Phobos is what they want. GG says Jiraiju Akara. It's a miracle if I'm saying that right. Warrior Brood cap in the power there. Yeah, they've wrapped it up. Red team just ran out of steam, had some tough fights through the mid and on the west side, lost a bit too much at the wrong times. And there it is. A blue team victory. The Tyranids do it. They devour all. Level 3, Elictor Alpha. Oh, Bautista was down at the end, level 6. And Vengetron's Ravana Alpha did get level 3. Sorcerer, level 4 with Icon of Zinch. I don't think I remember seeing Curse of Zinch being used. It must have been used, though. Terminator Force Commander, who doesn't have levels, did have some Lightning Claws, though. Did this guy do his money's worth, do we think? At the end, he was doing some decent work, but he may have slowed down Rue Tank's Tier 3 a bit. Maybe they could have got some extra units rolling in, you know? And a level 5 Lord Commissar with Fist of Brockus and the awesome Emperor's Wrath. There you have it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time.